Hey, what is up everyone? In the last video, we looked at some tie pad combos and since we're doing tie pads, let's film one more video to show you guys more content for using the tie pads, all right? So this time, instead of using just punches and kicks, I wanna show you guys how to use your knees as well as your elbows to incorporate those into your training session. So the first combo we're gonna do is the left jab, boom. From here, he's gonna throw the right elbow. Boom. Now, once we've connected with that elbow, we're already into a closer distance. Now I'm gonna have him skip his stance to throw that left knee. Boom. All right, so one more time slow. Watch how everything connects. The jab sets everything up to land the shorter weapons such as the elbow and the knee to the body. Okay, so as the pad holder, you have to make sure that you train your fighter and your athlete to stay in that pocket, you know, where the elbow range, the knee range is going to be connecting. So now we're going to do a little bit quicker. One more. Very good. All right, on the next combo, I'm going to do everything on the opposite side. So I'm going to have him start with the right straight. So slowly, right straight connects here. Now he's going to throw the left straight elbow. And then that puts him into a perfect position to throw the right knee to the stomach. All right, so one more time slow. We start with a straight lead into a short elbow and a long knee. Okay, so one more time quick. Hush, hush, hush. Hush, hush. One more. Hush, hush. Very good. All right, so since we're working the knees and the elbows, we can't forget one very important aspect of tie fighting, that is the tie clinch. So Alex is gonna be holding my neck into the clinch as such. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna train his back knee. So I'm gonna hold the pads here to the side and have him connect to the body. Oy, see, again. Oy. Now this is called a curved knee. Oy. One more. Oy. So it's very important when you train these techniques that you don't let go of the clinch, all right? That plum, that's how we call it in Thai. And we wanna be able to control the opponent's head, his break his posture, so that way they can land some really effective knees. That's gonna bring us to the next combo. So in this next combo, what we're gonna do now is connect two knees. As he gains the clinch position, he's gonna lead with that back curve knee. Boom, now skip a step and go straight knee with the left side, all right? One more time. One more. Last one. Very good. And that's how we start to train our clinch knees. Okay, so many combinations, guys. When I start filming videos on tie pad combinations, there's so many that I can start attaching that come to mind, but I wanna conclude this tutorial with one that's gonna incorporate combinations using your elbows. Okay, so now, he's gonna start with the lead uppercut elbow, which catches the opponent right in the center underneath the chin. So from here, and now he's gonna connect with a power elbow from the back and then finish off with that straight elbow to the front. Okay, so now one more time, slow. Boom, boom, and boom, okay? So everything is in close quarters, everything is close range. This is what I like about Muay Thai. Push, push, push. All right, so now let's do it in real time. One more. Very good. All right, guys, so there you have it. Some combinations you can train on the tie pads. Guys, if you enjoyed this type of content, make sure to leave us a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. Until next time. See you guys in the next Muay Thai video. Take care.